In mathematics, an affine space is a geometric structure that generalizes some of the properties of Euclidean spaces in such a way that these are independent of the concepts of distance and measure of angles, keeping only the properties related to parallelism and ratio of lengths for parallel line segments. In an affine space, there is no distinguished point that serves as an origin. Hence, no vector has a fixed origin and no vector can be uniquely associated to a point. In an affine space, there are instead displacement vectors, also called translation vectors or simply translations, between two points of the space. Thus it makes sense to subtract two points of the space, giving a translation vector, but it does not make sense to add two points of the space. Likewise, it makes sense to add a displacement vector to a point of an affine space, resulting in a new point translated from the starting point by that vector. Any vector space may be considered as an affine space, and this amounts to forgetting the special role played by the zero vector. In this case, the elements of the vector space may be viewed either as points of the affine space or as displacement vectors or translations. When considered as a point, the zero vector is called the origin. Adding a fixed vector to the elements of a linear subspace of a vector space produces an affine subspace. One commonly says that this affine subspace has been obtained by translating away from the origin the linear subspace by the translation vector. In finite dimensions, such an affine subspace is the solution set of an inhomogeneous linear system. The displacement vectors for that affine space are the solutions of the corresponding homogeneous linear system, which is a linear subspace. Linear subspaces, in contrast, always contain the origin of the vector space. The dimension of an affine space is defined as the dimension of the vector space of its translations. An affine space of dimension 1 is an affine line. An affine space of dimension 2 is an affine plane. An affine subspace of dimension n1 in an affine space or a vector space of dimension n is an affine hyperplane. Topic: Informal description. The following characterization may be easier to understand than the usual formal definition. An affine space is what is left of a vector space after you've forgotten which point is the origin, or, in the words of the French mathematician Marcel Berger, an affine space is nothing more than a vector space whose origin we try to forget about, by adding translations to the linear maps. Imagine that Alice knows that a certain point is the actual origin, but Bob believes that another point, call it P, is the origin. Two vectors, A and B, are to be added. Bob draws an arrow from point P to point A and another arrow from point P to point B, and completes the parallelogram to find what Bob thinks is A plus B, but Alice knows that he has actually computed P plus a minus P plus B minus P. Similarly, Alice and Bob may evaluate any linear combination of A and B, or of any finite set of vectors, and will generally get different answers. However, if the sum of the coefficients in a linear combination is 1, then Alice and Bob will arrive at the same answer. If Alice travels to Lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b then Bob can similarly travel to p plus lambda a minus p plus 1 minus lambda b minus p. Topic. Lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b, under this condition, for all coefficients lambda plus 1 minus lambda. 1. Alice and Bob describe the same point with the same linear combination, despite using different origins. While only Alice knows the 
linear structure. Both Alice and Bob know the affine structure, i.e. the values of affine combinations, defined as linear combinations in which the sum of the coefficients is 1. A set with an affine structure is an affine space. Topic definition An affine space is a set A together with a vector space A display style overwrite arrow A and a transitive and free action of the additive group of A display style overwrite arrow A on the set A. The elements of the affine space are called points, and the elements of the associated vector space A display style overwrite arrow A are called vectors, translations, or sometimes free vectors. Explicitly, the definition above means that the action is a mapping, generally denoted as an addition, a times a a a v a plus v display style begin aligned a times overwrite arrow a and to a a v and maps to a plus v end aligned that has the following properties: right identity a element of a A plus zero equals A display style for all A in A A plus zero equals A where zero is the zero vector in A display style over right arrow A associativity V W Element of a, a element of a a plus v plus w equals a plus v plus w Display style for all v w in overwrite arrow a for all a in a a plus v plus w equals a plus v plus w. Here the last plus is the addition in a display style overwrite arrow a free and transitive action for every a element of a display style a in a the mapping a a v a plus v display style over right arrow out to a colon v maps to a plus v is a bijection. The first two properties are simply defining properties of a right group action. The third property characterizes free and transitive actions, the onto character coming from transitivity, and then the injective character follows from the action being free. There is a fourth property that follows from one, two above. Existence of one to one translations for all v element of a display style v in overwrite arrow a the mapping a a a a plus v display style out to a colon a maps to a plus v is a bijection. Property 3 is often used in the following equivalent form. Subtraction For every A, B in A, there exists a unique V element of A display style V in overwrite arrow A denoted B, A, such that B equals a plus v display style b equals a plus v another way to express the definition is that an affine space is a principal homogeneous space for the action of the additive group of a vector space 
Homogeneous spaces are by definition endowed with a transitive group action, and for a principal homogeneous space such a transitive action is by definition free. Topic. Subtraction and Wales axioms The properties of the group action allows for the definition of subtraction for any given ordered pair B, A, of points in A, producing a vector of A display style over right arrow A. This vector, denoted B minus A display style B A or A B display style over right arrow ab is by definition the unique vector in a display style over right arrow a such that a plus b minus a equals b Display style a plus b a equals b. Existence follows from the transitivity of the action, and uniqueness follows because the action is free. This subtraction has the two following properties, called Wales axioms. A element of a v element of a display style for all a in a for all v in over right arrow a there is a unique point b element of a display style b in a such that b minus a equals v Display style B A equals V A B C element of A C minus B plus B minus A equals C minus a display style for all a b c in a c b plus b a equals c a. In Euclidean geometry, the second Wales axiom is commonly called the parallelogram rule. Affine spaces can be equivalently defined as a point set A together with a vector space. A display style over right arrow a and a subtraction satisfying Wales axioms. In this case, the addition of a vector to a point is defined from the first Wales axioms. Topic: Affine subspaces and parallelism. An affine subspace also called, in some contexts, a linear variety, a flat, or, over the real numbers, a linear manifold, B of an affine space A is a subset of A such that, given a point A element of B display style A in B the set of vectors B equals B minus a B element of B display style over right arrow B equals B a mid B in B is a linear subspace of a display style over right arrow a this property, which does not depend on the choice of A, implies that B is an affine space, which has B display style over right arrow B as associated vector space. 
The affine subspaces of A are the subsets of A of the form A plus V equals A plus W W element of V display style A plus V equals A plus W W in V where A is a point of A and V a linear subspace of A display style over right arrow A the linear subspace associated with an affine subspace is often called its direction and two subspaces that share the same direction are said to be parallel this implies the following generalization of Playfair's axiom, given a direction v, for any point o of a there is one and only one affine subspace of direction v, which passes through a, namely the subspace a plus v. Every translation a a a a plus v Display style a to a a maps to a plus v maps any affine subspace to a parallel subspace. The term parallel is also used for two affine subspaces such that the direction of one is included in the direction of the other. Topic affine map given two affine spaces a and b whose associated vector spaces are a display style over right arrow a and b display style over right arrow b an affine map or affine homomorphism from a to b as a map f a b display style f a to b such that f a b b minus a f b minus f a display style begin aligned over right arrow f over right arrow a and 2 over right arrow b b a and maps to f b f a end aligned is a well defined linear map by f display style f being well defined as meant that b a topic d c implies f b f a F D F C. This implies that for a point a element of a display style a in a and a vector v element of a display style v in over right arrow a one has f a plus v equals f a plus f v display style f a plus v equals f a plus over right arrow f v Therefore, since for any given b in A, b equals A plus v for a unique v, f is completely defined by its value on a single point and the associated linear map f f Vector spaces as affine spaces Every vector space V may be considered as an affine space over itself. This means that every element of V may be considered either as a point or as a vector. This affine set is sometimes denoted V, V for emphasizing the double role of the elements of V when considered as a point. The zero vector is commonly denoted O or O when uppercase letters are used for points and called the origin. If A is another affine space over the same vector space, that is V equals A displaystyle V equals over right arrow A 
The choice of any point A in A defines a unique affine isomorphism, which is the identity of V and maps A to O. In other words, the choice of an origin A in A allows us to identify A and V, v up to a canonical isomorphism. The counterpart of this property is that the affine space A may be identified with the vector space V in which the place of the origin has been forgotten. Topic: Relation to Euclidean spaces. Topic: Definition of Euclidean spaces. Euclidean spaces including the one-dimensional line, two-dimensional plane, and three-dimensional space commonly studied in elementary geometry, as well as higher dimensional analogs are affine spaces. Indeed, in most modern definitions, a Euclidean space is defined to be an affine space, such that the associated vector space is a real inner product space of finite dimension, that is a vector space over the reals with a positive definite quadratic form Q x. The inner product of two vectors x and y is the value of the symmetric bilinear form x y equals 1 2 q x plus y minus q x minus q y Display style x y equals frac one two q x plus y q x q y. The usual Euclidean distance between two points A and B is d a b equals q b minus a Display style d a b equals s q r t q b a. In older definition of Euclidean spaces through synthetic geometry, vectors are defined as equivalence classes of ordered pairs of points under equipollence. The pairs a b and c d are equipollent if the points a b d c in this order form a parallelogram. It is straightforward to verify that the vectors form a vector space. The square of the Euclidean distance is a quadratic form on the space of vectors, and the two definitions of Euclidean spaces are equivalent. Topic: Affine properties. In Euclidean geometry, the common phrase affine property refers to a property that can be proved in affine spaces that is it can be proved without using the quadratic form and its associated inner product in other words an affine property is a property that does not involve lengths and angles typical examples are parallelism and the definition of a tangent a non-example is the definition of a normal Equivalently, an affine property is a property that is invariant under affine transformations of the Euclidean space. Topic: <laughs> Affine combinations and barycenter. Let us consider in an affine space n points a1 and and n elements lambda 1 lambda n display style lambda underscore 1 dots lambda underscore n of the ground field for clarity we use a b display style over right arrow ab to denote the vector b a if 
lambda 1 plus plus lambda n equals 0 display style lambda underscore 1 plus dots plus lambda underscore n equals 0 for any two points o and o1 has lambda 1 o a 1 plus plus lambda n o a n equals lambda 1 o a 1 plus plus lambda n o a n Display style lambda underscore one over right arrow oa underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n over right arrow oa underscore n equals lambda underscore one over right arrow oa underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n over right arrow oa underscore n Thus this sum is independent of the choice of the origin, and the resulting vector is denoted lambda 1 a 1 plus plus lambda n a n Display style lambda underscore one a underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n a underscore n. In particular, when n equals two lambda one equals one lambda. 2 equals minus 1 display style n equals 2 lambda underscore 1 equals 1 lambda underscore 2 equals minus 1 one retrieves the definition of the subtraction of points if lambda 1 plus plus lambda n equals 1 display style lambda underscore 1 plus dots plus lambda underscore n equals 1 let us denote by g display style g the unique point such that lambda 1 o a 1 plus plus lambda n o a n equals o g Display style lambda underscore one over right arrow o a underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n over right arrow o a underscore n equals over right arrow og for some choice of an origin o display style o one can show that g display style g is independent from the choice of the origin o display style o therefore if lambda 1 plus plus lambda n equals 1 
display style lambda underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n equals one. One writes g equals lambda one a one plus plus lambda n a n display style g equals lambda underscore one a underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n a underscore n the point g display style g is called the barycenter of the a i display style underscore i for the weights lambda i display style lambda underscore i one says also that g display style g is an affine combination of the a i display style underscore i with coefficients lambda i display style lambda underscore i topic examples When children find the answers to sums such as 4 plus 3 or 4 minus 2 by counting right or left on a number line, they are treating the number line as a one-dimensional affine space. Any coset of a subspace V of a vector space is an affine space over that subspace. If T is a matrix and B lies in its column space, the set of solutions of the equation Tx. Topic. B is an affine space over the subspace of solutions of Tx. 0 The solutions of an inhomogeneous linear differential equation form an affine space over the solutions of the corresponding homogeneous linear equation. Generalizing all of the above, if T, VW is a linear mapping and Y lies in its image, the set of solutions X element of V to the equation Tx equals Y is a coset of the kernel of T, and is therefore an affine space over Ker T. The space of linear, complementary subspaces of a vector subspace V in a vector space W is an affine space, over home, with V, V. That is, if zero v w x zero display style zero to v to w to x to zero is a short exact sequence of vector spaces, then the space of all splittings of the exact sequence naturally carries the structure of an affine space over home x v. Topic. Affine span and bases For any subset X of an affine space A, there is a smallest affine subspace that contains it, called the affine span of X. It is the intersection of all affine subspaces containing X, and its direction is the intersection of the directions of the affine subspaces that contain X. The affine span of X is the set of all finite affine combinations of points of X, and its direction is the linear span of the X minus Y for X and Y in X. If one chooses a particular point X0, the direction of the affine span of X is also the linear span of the X, X0 for X in X. One says also that the affine span of X is generated by X and that X is a generating set of its affine span. 
A set X of points of an affine space is said to be affinely independent or, simply, independent, if the affine span of any strict subset of X is a strict subset of the affine span of X an affine basis, or barycentric coordinate system see section barycentric coordinates, below, of an affine space as a generating set that is also independent, that is a minimal generating set. Recall the dimension of an affine space as the dimension of its associated vector space. The bases of an affine space of finite dimension n are the independent subsets of n plus 1 elements, or, equivalently, the generating subsets of n plus 1 elements. Equivalently, x0 Xn is an affine basis of an affine space if and only if x1 minus x0 xn minus x0 is a linear basis of the associated vector space. Topic: Coordinates. There are two strongly related kinds of coordinate systems that may be defined on affine spaces. Topic: Barycentric coordinates. Let a be an affine space over a field K of dimension n and x 0 x n display style x underscore zero dots x underscore n be an affine basis of a the properties of an affine basis imply that for every x in a there is a unique n plus one tuple lambda zero lambda n Display style lambda underscore zero dots lambda underscore n of elements of K such that lambda zero plus plus lambda n equals one Display style lambda underscore zero plus dots plus lambda underscore n equals one and x equals lambda zero x zero plus plus lambda n x n display style x equals lambda underscore 0 x underscore 0 plus dots plus lambda underscore n x underscore n the lambda i display style lambda underscore i are called the barycentric coordinates of x over the affine basis x 0 x n display style x underscore 0 dots x underscore n if the she are viewed as bodies that have weights or masses lambda i Display style lambda underscore i. The point X is thus the barycenter of the she, and this explains the origin of the term barycentric coordinates. The barycentric coordinates define an affine isomorphism between the affine space A and the affine subspace of K n plus one, defined by the equation lambda zero plus plus lambda n equals 1 display style lambda underscore 0 plus dots plus lambda underscore n equals 1 for affine spaces of infinite dimension the same definition applies using only finite sums 
This means that for each point, only a finite number of coordinates are non-zero. Topic: Affine coordinates. An affine coordinate system of an affine space consists of a point, called the origin, and a linear basis of the associated vector space. More precisely, for an affine space A with associated vector space A display style over right arrow A the origin O belongs to A and the linear basis is a basis V1 Vn of A display style over right arrow A for simplicity of the notation, we consider only the case of finite dimension, the general case is similar. For each point P of A, there is a unique sequence. Lambda 1 Lambda N Display style Lambda underscore 1 dots Lambda underscore N of elements of the ground field such that p equals o plus lambda 1 v 1 plus plus lambda n v n Display style p equals o plus lambda underscore one v underscore one plus dots plus lambda underscore n v underscore n, or equivalently, o p equals lambda one v one plus plus lambda n v n display style over right arrow op equals lambda underscore 1 v underscore 1 plus dots plus lambda underscore n v underscore n the lambda i Display style lambda underscore i are called the affine coordinates of p over the affine coordinate system O v one v n. Example in Euclidean geometry, Cartesian coordinates are affine coordinates relative to an orthonormal coordinate system. That is an affine coordinate system O v one. Vn such that V1 Vn is an orthonormal basis. Topic: Relationship between barycentric and affine coordinates. Barycentric coordinates and affine coordinates are strongly related and may be considered as equivalent. In fact, given a barycentric coordinate system x 0 x n display style x underscore 0 dots x underscore n one deduces immediately the affine coordinate system x 0 x 0 x 1 x 0 x n equals x 0 x 1 minus x 0 x n minus x 0 
Display style x underscore zero over right arrow x underscore zero x underscore one dots over right arrow x underscore zero x underscore n equals left x underscore zero x underscore one x underscore zero dots x underscore n x underscore zero right and if Lambda zero Lambda one Lambda N Display style left Lambda underscore zero Lambda underscore one dots Lambda underscore N right are the barycentric coordinates of a point over the barycentric coordinate system, then the affine coordinates of the same point over the affine coordinate system are lambda 1 lambda n display style left lambda underscore 1 dots lambda underscore n right. Conversely, if O V one V N Display style left O V underscore one dots V underscore N right is an affine coordinate system, then O O plus V one O plus v n display style left o o plus v underscore 1 dots o plus v underscore n right is a barycentric coordinate system if lambda 1 lambda n Display style left lambda underscore one dots lambda underscore n right are the affine coordinates of a point over the affine coordinate system. Then its barycentric coordinates over the barycentric coordinate system are one minus lambda one minus minus Lambda N Lambda one Lambda N Display style left one Lambda underscore one dots Lambda underscore N Lambda underscore one dots Lambda underscore N right Therefore, barycentric and affine coordinates are almost equivalent. In most applications, affine coordinates are preferred, as involving less coordinates that are independent. However, in the situations where the important points of the studied problem are affinity independent, barycentric coordinates may lead to simpler computation, as in the following example. Topic. Example of the triangle The vertices of a non-flat triangle form an affine basis of the Euclidean plane. The barycentric coordinates allows easy characterization of the elements of the triangle that do not involve angles or distance. The vertices are the points of barycentric coordinates 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. The lines supporting the edges are the points that have a zero coordinate. The edges themselves are the points that have a zero coordinate and two non-negative coordinates. The interior of the triangle are the points whose all coordinates are positive. The medians are the points that have two equal coordinates, and the centroid is the point of coordinates one third, one third, one third. Topic. Change of coordinates <laughs> 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 
Topic: Case of affine coordinates. Topic: Case of barycentric coordinates. Topic: Properties of affine homomorphisms. Topic Matrix representation. Topic Image and fibers. Let F E F display style F colon E to F be an affine homomorphism with F E F display style over right arrow F colon over right arrow E two over right arrow F as associated linear map. The image of F as the affine subspace F E of F, which has F E. Display style over right arrow F left over right arrow E right as associated vector space. As an affine space does not have a zero element, an affine homomorphism does not have a kernel. However, for any point x of F E, the inverse image F1, x of x is an affine subspace of E of direction F minus 1 f display style over right arrow f caret minus 1 left over right arrow f right this affine subspace is called the fiber of x topic projection An important example is the projection parallel to some direction onto an affine subspace. The importance of this example lies in the fact that Euclidean spaces are affine spaces, and that this kind of projections is fundamental in Euclidean geometry. More precisely, given an affine space E with associated vector space E let f be an affine subspace of direction f display style over right arrow f and d be a complementary subspace of f display style over right arrow f in e display style over right arrow e this means that every vector of E display style over right arrow E may be decomposed in a unique way as the sum of an element of F display style over right arrow F and an element of D. For every point x of E, its projection to F parallel to D is the unique point P x in F such that P x minus x element of d display style p x x in d this is an affine homomorphism whose associated linear map p display style over right arrow p is defined by p x minus y equals p x minus p y display style over right arrow p x y equals p x p y for x and y in e the image of this projection is F, and its fibers are the subspaces of direction D. Topic. 
Topic: Quotient space. Although kernels are not defined for affine spaces, quotient spaces are defined. This results from the fact that belonging to the same fiber of an affine homomorphism is an equivalence relation. Let E be an affine space, and D be a linear subspace of the associated vector space E. Display style over right arrow E. The quotient E, D of E by D is the quotient of E by the equivalence relation X minus Y element of D display style X Y in D. This quotient is an affine space, which has E D display style over right arrow e d as associated vector space for every affine homomorphism e f display style e to f the image is isomorphic to the quotient of e by the kernel of the associated linear map this is the first isomorphism theorem for affine spaces Topic. Affine transformation Topic. Axioms Affine space is usually studied as analytic geometry using coordinates, or equivalently vector spaces. It can also be studied as synthetic geometry by writing down axioms, though this approach is much less common. There are several different systems of axioms for affine space. Coxeter, 1969, p. 192, axiomatizes affine geometry over the reals as ordered geometry together with an affine form of Desserges theorem and an axiom stating that in a plane there is at most one line through a given point not meeting a given line. Affine planes satisfy the following axioms, Cameron 1991, Chapter 2 in which two lines are called parallel if they are equal or disjoint any two distinct points lie on a unique line given a point and line there is a unique line which contains the point and is parallel to the line there exist three non-collinear points as well as affine planes over fields or division rings there are also many non-deserusion planes satisfying these axioms cameron 1991 chapter 3 gives axioms for higher dimensional affine spaces topic relation to projective spaces Affine spaces are subspaces of projective spaces, an affine plane can be obtained from any projective plane by removing a line and all the points on it, and conversely any affine plane can be used to construct a projective plane as a closure by adding a line at infinity whose points correspond to equivalence classes of parallel lines. Further, transformations of projective space that preserve affine space equivalently, that leave the hyperplane at infinity invariant as a set yield transformations of affine space. Conversely, any affine linear transformation extends uniquely to a projective linear transformation, so the affine group is a subgroup of the projective group. For instance, Mobius transformations, transformations of the complex projective line, or Riemann sphere are affine, transformations of the complex plane if and only if they fix the point at infinity. Topic. Affine algebraic geometry 
In algebraic geometry, an affine variety or, more generally, an affine algebraic set is defined as the subset of an affine space that is the set of the common zeros of a set of so-called polynomial functions over the affine space. For defining a polynomial function over the affine space, one has to choose an affine coordinate system. Then, a polynomial function is a function such that the image of any point is the value of some multivariate polynomial function of the coordinates of the point. As a change of affine coordinates may be expressed by linear functions, more precisely affine functions of the coordinates, this definition is independent of a particular choice of coordinates. The choice of a system of affine coordinates for an affine space a k n display style math b o underscore k caret n of dimension n over a field k induces an affine isomorphism between a k n display style math b o underscore k caret n and the affine coordinate space kn this explain why for simplification many textbooks write a k n equals k n Display style math b o underscore k caret n equals k caret n, and introduce affine algebraic varieties as the common zeros of polynomial functions over k n, as the whole affine space is the set of the common zeros of the zero polynomial. Affine spaces are affine algebraic varieties. Topic. Ring of polynomial functions By the definition above, the choice of an affine coordinate system of an affine space a k n displaystyle math b o underscore k caret n allows one to identify the polynomial functions on a k n display style math b o underscore k caret n with polynomials in n variables the ith variable representing the function that maps a point to its ith coordinate it follows that the set of polynomial functions over a k n display style math b o underscore k caret n is a k algebra denoted k a k n display style k left math b o underscore k caret n right which is isomorphic to the polynomial ring k x 1 x n display style k left x underscore 1 dots x underscore n right when one changes coordinates the isomorphism between k a k n Display style k left math b o underscore k caret n right and k x one x n display style k x underscore one dots x underscore n changes accordingly, and this induces an automorphism of K x one x n display style k left x underscore one dots x underscore n right 
which maps each indeterminate to a polynomial of degree 1. It follows that the total degree defines a filtration of k a k n display style k left math b o underscore k caret n right which is independent from the choice of coordinates the total degree defines also a graduation but it depends on the choice of coordinates as a change of affine coordinates may map indeterminates on non-homogeneous polynomials Topic. Zariski topology Affine spaces over topological fields, such as the real or the complex numbers, have a natural topology. The Zariski topology, which is defined for affine spaces over any field, allows use of topological methods in any case. Zariski topology is the unique topology on an affine space whose closed sets are affine algebraic sets that is sets of the common zeros of polynomials functions over the affine set. As, over a topological field, polynomial functions are continuous, every Zariski closed set is closed for the usual topology, if any. In other words, over a topological field, Zariski topology is coarser than the natural topology. There is a natural injective function from an affine space into the set of prime ideals that is the spectrum of its ring of polynomial functions. When affine coordinates have been chosen, this function maps the point of coordinates. A 1 A n display style left a underscore one dots a underscore n right to the maximal ideal x one minus a one x n minus a n Display style left Langle x underscore one a underscore one dots x underscore n a underscore n right wrangle. This function is a homeomorphism for the Zariski topology of the affine space and of the spectrum of the ring of polynomial functions of the affine space onto the image of the function. The case of an algebraically closed ground field is especially important in algebraic geometry, because, in this case, the homeomorphism above is a map between the affine space and the set of all maximal ideals of the ring of functions this is Hilbert's Nullstellensatz. This is the starting idea of scheme theory of Grothendieck, which consists, for studying algebraic varieties, of considering as points not only the points of the affine space but also all the prime ideals of the spectrum this allows gluing together algebraic varieties in a similar way as for manifolds charts are glued together for building a manifold topic cohomology Like all affine varieties, local data on an affine space can always be patched together globally. The cohomology of affine space is trivial. More precisely, H I A K N F equals zero. Display style h caret i left math b o underscore k caret n math b f f right equals zero. For all coherent sheaves f and integers i greater than zero. Display style i greater than zero. This property is also enjoyed by all other affine varieties. 
but also all of the e-tail cohomology groups on a fine space are trivial. In particular, every line bundle is trivial. More generally, the quillen suslin theorem implies that every algebraic vector bundle over an affine space is trivial. Topic. See also Space mathematics Affine geometry Affine group Affine transformation a fine variety, a fine hull, heap, mathematics, equipollence, geometry, interval measurement, and a fine observable in statistics, exotic affine space, complex affine space. Equals equals notes. <laughs>